Alright guys, to a brand new video on the Twin Tubulars. Today we're going to be reviewing the Jurassic World set, uh, Dinosaur Ambush. I think that's what it's called. Anyways, um, so, as you know from the video I posted, there's some old Legos I found. This was not really that old, but it's one of the newer sets. And it had, and so I rebuilt the set from the pieces that were in there. And there's some missing, um, but the set's fully, mostly fully together. And let's get into it. Okay, so the main, we're going to start with the main figures. But first, um, if I said this was the dinosaur ambush, it's not. It's the Dilophosaurus ambush, which is what this thing is. Sorry, I don't know dinosaurs and their names. But anyways, get into the main figures. So, um, this is a, um, an ACU trooper. Um, this is um, gray. He has a back. Um, and this is the Dilophosaurus, which his mouth can be put down, his arms and legs can be moved. And that's about it for the main figures. Let's get into the gyrosphere. So, um, this is the gyrosphere, it is the secondary build, and it, it doesn't have much pieces, but, um, it's just, basically, it's a big ball, and, um, it's supposed to be this thing they ride around in for like a amusement park ride or any or something. Um, this is um, so how you get into this is you have to take these side plates off and then there's a little technic structure and then you think pull up on one of them. It doesn't come off smoothly every time. And then you can get in and get your minifig. Now, um, uh, the gyrosphere is designed to where it can roll around, but the person stays you know, straight. So I can basically keep on rolling and rolling it. He's staying in the same position because, well, um, the Technic pins that connect it are loose, so they're just gonna fling him around. But since this is rolling, he's not. And I don't know the whole science behind it, but that's my um, that's what I think. Anyways, um, so we'll roll around. He'll always stay straight. And yeah, I'm not the best at rolling. But anyways, um, let's get into the main build. This Jeep. is the uh, main build, which is the Jurassic World Jeep. And um, let's just start out with functions. So if you don't, if you want to fit your main figure in, but you just don't want to try and grab like that between these two things, you can always just lift it up because of these ball joints back here and put him in. Then you put it back down. The problem with it being ball joints is it can go sideways, so you may have to adjust it a bit. Um, that's, and there's also another play feature, which are these flick fire missiles, but they're not really flick fire missiles, because watch what happens when I try and flick them. They do. That, oh, they actually flick, they actually did well. Okay, never mind, they are flick fire missiles. Um, then the last play feature on the Jeep is this um, little winch right here, um, that can be twisted up by using this thing, or can be loosened also, so you can just connect it to something. Anyways, that's it for the Jeep, let's get to the final version. Okay guys, so, um, how I take the set is, I really like it, um, and there's probably some nostalgia playing into this because, um, I really loved all of the Jurassic World sets but never could get them. And, um, I really like the Gyrosphere. I've never, ever had one, so it's nice to see that. I've always wanted a Jurassic World slash Park Jeep because those are cool. And this is all a dinosaur I've never had, so, you know, all this stuff's new to me. I really like it all. 
And I would definitely recommend this set. It's a little late for it because it came out in like 2015. So, um, if you want it, you could like buy it off of eBay or Bricklink. But, um, I'd say it's definitely worth it depending on the price. If someone's selling it for $200, I'd say no way. But I say $60 a noun. This thing's worth it. Um, it's, uh, a very nice vehicle and nicely designed set. And I think that's going to be it for today, guys. I hope you have enjoyed, and I'll see you guys later.